Alright, so introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Marcus. Um, I am from Sweden. I work with Escape. Escape is basically a project that was started six years ago in the dark where we saw a big problem in how multiplayer games are created. It's too expensive, time to market is just way too long and only the AAA studios can afford it. Um, so our CEO and founder set out on a mission to find a solution for all of this and everyone said it's impossible. That's how back-end front end infrastructure works. They talk to one another and he said I'm gonna break it. Uh, he managed to get funded by Microsoft to try and find a solution, had a huge breakthrough, and after four years we had our technology called Lemur. So Lemur is then a, a backend or a, a software a, that we call a platform that anyone that builds game up on our platform do not need any backend coding whatsoever. So time to market is increased by 55% uh, and, and cost is decreased by 70%. Uh, and then what comes next is this technology also allows for layers, which means now when you create a, a multiplayer game, anything to anything is possible, meaning that it's the front-end code doesn't speak to the back-end code the same way it does in a traditional game, right? Because our platform uh, eliminates the rule box. So we have no rule box whatsoever. So the front-end only talks to um, our, our back-end software and that then allows for any gameplay, any art style to be interconnected. So we basically unlock the door to what everyone within the Web3 space has been waiting for, which is a functional metaverse. So that is what Scape is right now. So the technology have been working on it for, for five years in the dark, and then Scape a year and a half. So we're unlocking the doors to our NFT holders this uh, in a month, and then going live Q1 next year. So the NFT, am I buying like weapons? Am I buying cars? What am I buying? So, so basically what we're doing is we're, we're building the overworld, as I would like to call it. Mm -hmm. um, so if you look at any metaverse, the biggest problem is the chicken egg problem. Like, do we get the builders first or the players first? Yeah. Uh, and obviously um, that's where Web3 is fantastic because you have communities that have been dreaming about a interconnected world where the NFTs could live, mm -hmm. um, but you also need builders later on, but then you can have players and builders coming on board pretty much at the same time. But since we're such a big team of 150 people, we have our own in-game studio. Yeah. So we split our in-game studio into two groups, so they're going to be able to come up with one new game every uh, fourth week. So then we can keep delivering. Uh, and one of the other most important things is that when, if you ever try to build a metaverse, it has to be equally as good or better for it to work. Mm. No one wants to play a game because of the Web3 stuff. They want to play games that are fun. The Web3 stuff is just additional stuff to it. Yeah. Um, so uh, the new, new games coming out every month. That's from our studio, but we can onboard every game in the world. Our platform allows for any scalability, anything. And it's also interconnected with the blockchain, meaning all of the games are, we have something called portals. Portals are leads to new experiences. So we have built the overworld, that's you would call, okay, let's go into that building. It's a Nike logo, for example, you go into that building, it's a portal into the Nike experience. Then it's connected on the blockchain, so whatever you get inside there, you can bring out to the overworld and into other experiences. Ah, right, but yeah. only if the other experiences select you. Because yeah. we don't want any game to break down because, uh, for example, if they have a pirate game, you wouldn't want the Star Wars guy. <laughs> so it has to be limited. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much us. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm getting for some water. All right. Would you like some? Did you order food for me? I'm kidding. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for a waiter. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Where, where, do we, where do we get details on Skype? How do we find it? Um, so we're on Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. We have our website, createyourscape.com. Uh, same tag on Twitter. It's uh, uh, createyourscape. Um, and uh, yeah, just Google Create Your Escape and you'll find it. Fantastic. Thank you, man. Awesome. Cheers. <laughs>